design, money, and relationships. That's my life. I'm Lloyd Princeton. I am the matchmaker for design professionals. I run a multi-million dollar consulting firm for high-end clients who have homes they need remodeled and redesigned. I've got these relationships with people and I know just how to match this kind of crazy with this kind of crazy to make a really, you know, really happy marriage. I introduce my clients to at least three accomplished designers who go head to head to land the job. I want the nice guy that does it quick. <laughs> the designers present their unique vision of my client's wishes. We would customize something flush but wide. Do you guys like the thought of doing the upholstered walls? We need to use mirrors to really open the space up. Aiming to exceed their every design fantasy. Wow. Oh. Then my client chooses one designer for the job. She might be the perfect person. But pleasing my clientele is no easy feat. This is crap. You didn't tell me about the bathroom. I'm going to go out on a limb for you. Don't let me down. I don't like that word, hope. We have to actually get it right. My blood pressure is going up a little bit right now. Because in my world, it's not just the designs that are high drama. That's crazy. I don't like that room. Yeah. 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 Hey, Lloyd, how are you? Tricky, how are you? Tricky Stewart is one of the world's most talented and prolific music producers and one of my personal favorite clients. Over the years, I've matched him with designers that have done work on three of his homes, and now he has a new project he wants me to book. I have a, a very small room and a small bathroom, and we've kind of decided to just make it into a guest room. And this is something that I want to get done like ASAP. You know, I want it to be something that feels like a hotel room because I want some place where my mom can stay when she comes. You know, I want to get this project done. How tight is the schedule? I have 10 to 14 days, so I need to be able to look at people that can fit the deadline that I have. The added bonus of this job is whoever impresses Tricky with the guest room project will land the kitchen remodel project, which is currently budgeted at $200,000. Listen, Tricky, I know you're a busy guy, so listen, let's just, let's get to work on this. We'll get calls back to you before the end of the day. Today, I'm sending three designers to Tricky's house to present their ideas and customize renderings. In these meetings, the personal chemistry is just as important as the design ideas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Julia, Julia Wong, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Julia Wong has clients around the world from London to Hong Kong. Her latest high-profile project is the famed Ritz-Carlton Residences in Chicago. Julia's work has been featured in Traditional Home. Because of her experience with high-end hotels, I think she could be the perfect match for Tricky and Makita. This is very time-sensitive. 14 days is the type of turnaround I'm looking for. Usually how I start is that we interview the clients, because everyone has a style. And then how, what's your style? Is this room a good representation of your style? I think it's a good representation of the way we like to feel when we're home. Mm -hmm. Homey is very important to us. And it's very glamorous too, though. Yeah. yeah. It's not homey. <laughs> it's not, it's everything is well, it's glamorous, not, it's but it's still comfortable. Yeah, yeah, it's still comfortable. The idea behind the whole house is to really have a home that feels like a suite a place where things are not so nice that we feel afraid to live in there. I can see that you guys are into technology. Yeah. I always like to integrate technology, art and design. Mm -hmm. So okay. um, from the draperies to the TV screen, it's all controlled on the iPad or on a control panel on the side. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's very cool. I think my meeting's going well. We we're getting to know each other. I was trying to understand his style. They've shown me their existing spaces that can inspire me. The space is small. This is considered a bedroom. Yes. But really it's a box. We have to really bring warmth to the space. You know, the textures on the wall, I think it's a big thing because there's a lot of walls and no nothing else. Yeah. So it could be, you know, great, beautiful wallpapers or Venetian plastering. I like and then, Venetian plastering. And then we have to really do a lot of lighting in here. The chandelier wouldn't be something that is hanging down. We would customize something flush but wide. All right. Show me the bathroom. It is one of the only two bathrooms on this level. Everything in here, I want to be able to expand the room. Like large mirrors, but not too gross. Tricky and Makeda want it to be glamorous and uh, very cozy and warm. And those two doesn't always come hand in hand. So um, I think we could really use soft curves, upholstery, and drama to make the space more cozy. I want to show you a couple of images. 
For this room, I would create high drama by painting one more deep red and grounding it with a cool neutral color palette. I would choose modern furnishings that are bold and glamorous, yet still comfortable. Finally, I would customize the lighting by installing a dramatic flush chandelier. Hi Lloyd, I think it went well. The house is so pretty. Excellent, darling, excellent. And um, I think I can really create something that is their style, but at the same time, very, very comfortable. Excellent, good. Well, that's what I like to hear. My clients demand to work with the best talent. There's no room for amateurs. Hi there. Hi, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Pleasure. Jessica Bennett is recognized as one of the best in the next generation of designers. I want Tricky and Makita to meet her because I think they'll respond to her youthful and sometimes unconventional approach to design. The house is, um, I think it's fairly like traditional, but at the same time, it's got a real cool factor for yeah, us. Yeah. A lot of we have a little going. like different flares throughout yeah. the house. That... Tell me like what's your favorite aspect of this room? Mine is the, the gold fireplace. Yeah, that's place. awesome. That's what I was gonna say too. Yeah. Obviously you guys aren't afraid of color. This is a big deep red room. Yeah, right, I right. love that. I just love deep kind of jewel tones, mm -hmm. like I love blues, okay. greens, like your yeah, <laughs> and I love, I love purples too, Purple. you okay. know. Do you want to show me the room? Yeah, let's show them. All right. Okay. <laughs> right. So, so it's small. <laughs> oh, I got you. I see yeah. what you mean. But it's yeah, still enough. It's, it's enough for a nice small. size bed. And Do you guys like the thought of doing the upholstered walls? As long as it doesn't make the room seem too small, yeah. you know. We have another space that we need to design. Oh. Well, we're not done just yet. We have the bathroom, which is right off of this room. It's the so, guest bath. The guest yeah. bath. That makes sense. That totally uh -oh, makes sense. Be careful. I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. Is it's, it here? Yeah, it's right. Okay. Don't get shot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, All right. And the bathroom is a big surprise. Lloyd didn't mention the bathroom. I don't know if we can do it within that 10 day or two week timeline. Anything else? <laughs> Any other surprises? Mm, well, let me show you this the smaller room after okay. this. No, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. That's pretty challenging within itself. Yeah. Yeah, I because we wanted the time. What I would do with this space is start off with an upholstered wall in a deep blue color that will act as the focal point of the room while bringing dimension to the square space. The bed and nightstands would be all cream with hints of gold in the accent pieces. You know, it's not my everyday aesthetic. It's very big and glitzy and glossy and glam, which is fun and it'll be a great challenge. My only concern is the timeline. It's such a quick turnaround, especially for a bathroom construction. So Lloyd, you didn't tell me about the bathroom. Definitely call me after you talk to them. I'd love to work with them. Sell me, okay, babe? Hey, how up? are you, sir? Good to see you. Give me a hug. Good to see you, too. The third designer I'm sending is Charles Neal. Charles designed Tricky and Makita's Atlanta and L.A. homes. The Stuarts love his bold and colorful Hollywood chic design aesthetic, but because he missed his last deadline and he was over budget on the rest of this house, they're not sure they want to work with him again. Have a seat. Have okay, a I hate about. to even step into this beautiful little piece. It's your white rug you put down, so if you don't feel comfortable stepping on it. <laughs> I'm very worried because I've never had to compete with another designer, with Tricky. And now, I've got to figure out a way to set, resell myself to Tricky. I know that you've been extremely busy. Yeah. <laughs> and we're kind of on a tight schedule. I just want to make sure that you are able to be honest, and if you can't mm -hmm. do it, just let us know you can't do it. And I don't want yeah. to hold anything over your head, but the timing of this project has everything to do with who's going to finish the kitchen, and that's just the truth. Oh, okay. We're going to have to be very creative, and a lot of things can't be just ordered. It has to be custom made. You know how he is. Like, custom? If it's cu custom is... The custom, that's the code <laughs> word for missing my date. You want to go look at the space? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, now I remember. It is small. I am going to try mirrors in here to really open the space mm. up. Yeah. Anything, like, specific? I, I mean, want there to be a television in this room, but um, I don't want to have, no, like, a, a some big, big huge yeah, television in here taking mm -hmm. up all the space, so. Okay, well, we got to figure out furniture placement and where you want the TV. Well, let me show you the bathroom. Is there anything that comes to mind as soon as you see the space? There's a lot of creativity that's got to go here. I mean, in these small spaces, you, you need something bold, but then not crowded, too. What I would do is start with a custom tufted headboard and floating nightstands to ground the design. 
Then I would mirror the entire wall and frame it with some beautiful drapes. This would give the illusion of more space and create the effect of a window. I don't know where I stand, but I'm gonna do my best and make sure that I really shine on this one because I've got to do that kitchen. I don't feel creatively that we're on the same page with anyone. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just not 100% sure. So. What did you think? Who were you most impressed with today? I was impressed with Julia. I thought she had some really good ideas. I loved the technological aspect of what Julia had to offer. And then Jessica. I think, I think she's really, really talented, really, mm -hmm. really good. You know, she would be interpreting our style based on what she sees here. Right, right, right. Charles? I don't know. I mean, with the experience of him in the past of just not being able to get things finished on time, I'm just not 100% sure. OK. Yeah. We'll see. Never know. Hey, Lloyd, how are you? Doing well, doing well. How are you? We're, We're doing good. great. Have you decided who you want to work with yet? I was impressed with Julia, but I thought she had some really good ideas for things that weren't the task at hand. So for me, she was a little bit over the top. And with Jessica, I felt like she just kind of suggested things that we already had, and the creativity wasn't like next level, you know? From the perspective of who I feel most comfortable with, that's kind of leading me back to Charles, except for, you know, time being the most important part of the project, which he guaranteed that he would do his best, but. Mm -hmm. Well, he's done the majority of the work in this house. He knows us. Plus, and he really wants the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel the most comfortable. I think, I think he'll nail it, and I think he understands what the project is, and I think he understands the timeline. As much as I'd like to keep you in suspense, I would have to say that Charles is the best decision for what we need right now. Just remember, time is of the essence. Fantastic. On time, on budget. It's gonna be done, I promise. My plan is to keep everything neutral on the ceiling and the floor. I'm thrilled to get this job with Tricky and Makita, but I really hate working under these deadlines. Timing is not my strength, but perfection takes time. Deep plum burgundy is going to be around at the perimeter of the room, introducing a punch of color, but it's not too much. Because this is a tiny room. I mean, I'm almost feeling claustrophobic just standing here and everything's white. My biggest concern is this headboard, because I don't want to make it look like it's installed into the wall. The mattress will be here. And so then the nightstand. We need to also mark where all the tufts are going to go for the tufting, because we'd probably start it here. See, that's nice. I like this. We may even lower the platform in the bed. I want each tuft to look so scrumptious. What I thought, and I think it's even better, is let's build the original plan of the floating nightstand. Okay. So I drew it here. It's like 22 by 14. Let's have it float on the wall, which in this tiny ass room, I think it's better because that big piece of furniture is going to crowd it. So I'm kind of excited, but what do you think about Ikea? They have the little bookshelves that hang up on this the wall. This, this, like, we just went to We'll just, okay, we didn't say that. Let's just get to work. This is going to be a frame around it, and then the TV will inset into the wall. It'll be on a bracket, so it'll pull out. Being an interior designer is like being a Broadway choreographer. Everything has to be scheduled to a T. Everything from tiling, construction, plumbing, you've got paint. I mean, when's the furniture going to get delivered? There's just so many details. You have to time everything out perfectly. Hey guys, let's move this vanity in here. The vanity's not going to fit. By far, the biggest challenge of this job is that bathroom. So I went ahead and pre-ordered the vanity and the tile just to make sure it comes right on time. So we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do. Either we're going to have to get a new toilet, move the toilet, or get a new vanity. This is an extra $2,000, and all that's out of my pocket. When things come in and they're too small or too large, or the client doesn't like them, I have to eat the cost. 
and I can't work for free. What do the guys say about moving the toy? It'll take several days. That's what happens when you rush these things. Okay, let's talk about this bandy because I was dreaming of jackhammering this up. You know what we talked about yesterday? Crazy. I just don't want to deal with that. So I found a new vanity. I had to bite the bullet and I ordered this 29 look. 29. Perfect. Wow. It's the exact mirror. And it's black mirrors. So I'm kind of excited about that. And then the width is going to be perfect. So we don't even have to touch the toilet. We don't have to buy a new toilet. Get tight over there. Shh. First, I ordered the paintable wallpaper. Then I customized the color. And then I painted it myself. I mean, I was not going to leave this to anybody else. Wow. That is gorgeous. Well, I spent so much time looking for the perfect purple wallpaper and never could find the right shade, so I came across this. And I'm just my new favorite little treat. I want them to come from here to here, three inches. I'm trying to get these colors right. So that's done, and you you taped it all and run the thing. Oh gosh, who is this? Hold a minute, camera. Don't say anything, okay? How's it going? Uh, we're doing the last bit of painting now, and I am rushing as fast as I can. Everything was delayed. I mean, you know how this thing goes, but... Tom, um, this is something that I want to get done, like, ASAP. I want to be clear. I'm sticking to my deadline. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody's just working away. I mean, nobody's even talking. We're just working like maniacs to get it done. I'm actually running a roller down the wall as we speak. Okay. By the end of the day, this will be a hotel room. Thank you so much. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, my gosh. We're so crammed on time. How long is it going to take the heat to dry once we do it? Well, they say two hours, but I got a heat gun. Here I am drying this paint with a heat gun and doing everything I can to rush these last minute details, which really should have been done sooner. But at this point, hindsight's always 2020, and I'm just doing what I can because the bed has got to go in today. Because tricking will be here tomorrow. Mmm, that headboard and the lights behind it. Oh, we, I forgot the lights are gonna come up behind it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do my best and make sure that I really shine on this one because I've got to do that kitchen. Great. Let's get the sink. Mm -hmm. This is tricky. He's number one for me. And so I know I've got to nail this. Has the time come? It has. The headboard is really heavy. I had no idea it was going to be crazy heavy. It's like lead. Oh, that's wait, wait, oop. Step right through. Just don't push this anywhere because it's very close to this purple paint. Now the nightstand's next. This was the right side. Oh, you pull it through or pull it through from the back. You see how right through here, it just feels still open and big because of this floating. Yeah. This, I mean, it, it truly makes a big difference. Being able to see the just that area, it's like a breather. It is far from complete. I hope I haven't oversold what I promised today. It's really stressing me out. Tricky and Lloyd are going to kill me if I don't get this just right. It's a big day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all ready? I'm excited. All that noise mm -hmm. had to be for something. I know, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping you're going to love it. I normally wouldn't go to a reveal on a project of this size, but I really wanted to be there to show my support for Charles. And Tricky. Can we can we go see and stop all this talking? I mean, I, I, I want to see the I room. I, I thought you'd never ask. All right. Get to the point. Let's, let's go see it. Come on. You go first. Okay. You go first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my blood pressure is going up a little bit right now. Come on in. Let's look at the bedroom. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I like all that. Ooh, it's yeah. hot. Wow. This is hot. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that wallpaper. Wow, this is great. The mirror, the mirror really the mirror and the lights. Add a lot. It really looks a lot bigger. I would stay in here. You might have to some yeah. nights. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> 
it, it took this little room that was just more of like a big closet, the way you guys looked at it before, and yeah. it turned it into, you know, it brought more life to your house. What sure. happened to the TV, though? I know we had a comp, the TV was Well, actually, there was a look, this little hallway. I wanted oh, to wow. try to, yep, utilize this space oh, as much heard. as possible. Oh, really. wow. Just regular mirror there, but then we need to turn the TV on, the big oh, TV. Wow. This was a lot of customization to get it look this effortless. You know what we did, this is sort of crazy, but I just said, go get some door hinges like a door. Put it on the side, and then if you're in bed, you just pull this open. Oh, wow. That is, all right, Neil. Okay, Neil. Okay, now, okay, okay. now you're feeling it. Let me dim the lights so we can get the lighting effect going on here. You just dim that. these lights down and you got the mood lighting here. See? Ooh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you got a glowing headboard, you got the lamps, you've got the tray ceiling glowing, and then it's just enough light to see the TV really clear. This is the ultimate mood lighting. So I know we talked in the beginning, you know, about not doing everything custom, but I was able to get it all done in time and pretty much everything in here is custom. I'm like, I don't want anyone staying in here now. It's too pretty. Come on in, check it out. Wow. This is wow. great. So this is the same bathroom. Sparkly, huh? <laughs> I love the chandelier. The way the light reflects on the ceiling. Yeah, it's very nice. I think that the room is absolutely amazing. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how big the room looks now. It looks like we can get planning for the kitchen now. Oh my gosh. Well, this is great, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm this is so you. glad you're happy. This is even better than I thought. Thank you so much. My clients are leaders in their fields, and they expect the very best. And that's why they're coming to me. Charles did an amazing job and has now landed the Stewart's Kitchen Project and my next referral. This is why I do this job. You want my job? You can have it. But I make a lot of money, so I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs>